The Chairman's Award is an honor given to a select few in the Otter Nation family. Recipients of this award have gone above and beyond in the pursuit of exceptional customer service. Gary Liptock, Service Technician. The story behind my Chairman's Award, well, it didn't start out to be such a long story. Um, basically, I was having a, problems with a car. It had been in a couple times before. Concern could not be duplicated. The car had very low miles on it. It had like 250 miles on it. It was really a brand new car. Um, when I got it, the battery was dead. And as soon as I tried to uh, jump the car, the alarm would go nuts. It would do different things at different times. Um, I'd charge the battery, it would go dead. Um, sometimes nothing would work. Sometimes half the features of the car would work. It was interesting to say the least. And was dealing with the Ford hotline, the, was getting nowhere with the repair, so they sent a field service engineer down to help us out with the car. Um, we were thinking that it had a bad module in the car, so he showed up with one and that was not the problem. So we continued to investigate and we thought we had a problem with a different module in the car, so we had to disconnect every module in the car and we still had a problem. Determined now that we had to have a wiring problem, so we had to take the car apart tracing a wiring issue and virtually had the interior of the car removed. It was gutted. The vehicle had already been here like three weeks waiting for us to get to this point. Uh, the customer wanted their car back. I needed to get done with the ticket, move on to different work. I needed to know what was wrong with the car. Customer had a lot of concern uh, because of the time we had the vehicle and, and, and the amount of repair work we had to do. So I took the time to personally deliver the vehicle to the customer, and he's been a loyal customer since. Come back to the dealership several times, hasn't had any repeat problems with the vehicle. I left here at three o'clock, I got home at four o'clock. I slept for three hours, got up at seven, was back here at eight, and worked eight to five the next day. And then I was asleep most of Sunday. That's definitely something that is above and beyond anything I've seen in the business.